So I just pressed record. Welcome, everyone. This is a meeting of the Town of Amherst Public Arts Commission. My name is Angela Mills, and I work for the town manager, Paul Bachelman. This meeting is being recorded on Zoom and will be uploaded to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. This group is able to meet by Zoom due to suspension of public meeting laws, thanks to our governor, Maura Healy. And at this time, I'd like to recognize the chair, Tom Warder, and he will do a sound check and make sure everyone can be heard and or seen. Tom, I'll also make you the host. And um, if you reach a quorum, then you can vote on things. And if you don't reach a quorum, you can just update everyone on the interviews that will take place on November 25th. OK. All right. Thank you, Angela. Sure. Who are we waiting for? Waiting for Terry. OK. Sorry about last week. Uh, those things happen. Especially I had to be on a, I was on a, a, a board. Well, no, it wasn't a board. It was for the historical societies, but I was on a committee about um, cataloging. Mm -hmm. So a panel, that's what it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dara. Hi. Are you trying to share something with us, Tom? Yeah, I can never remember how to get that started. Probably is a bunch of which, stuff at the bottom. Which, um, you know, which, um, um, which of the little windows? I think there's a bright green one at the bottom of the screen with a green arrow. No. No. Nope. It is, that's that's. I guess we all have different versions of Zoom. Yeah. Well, they're different depending on on what um, browser and operating system you use. Uh huh. Dara, do you have a um Apple? I do. Yep. So do I. And I've I have the same thing you have. Oh, you got the green arrow. I got the green arrow. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, I no, I had the green arrow. It's just once I click that, I always have trouble identifying which of the window choices is the one I want. But I think I've got it now. Is the one my screen keeps changing? But oh, I can see yours. I can see the okay. agenda. Yeah, I think I finally yep. finally yep. got there. All right, let's okay. um, while we're waiting for Terry, let's do a few a few of the updates, and that may be just about what we're able to do. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's it's delays on all fronts, I'm afraid. Electrify Amherst, um, that we still don't have the 
um, have the review of the legal document, the artist contract back. And I keep uh, asking about that. And I'm going to have to go into town hall tomorrow myself because I'm not getting any answers on it. Last I heard, and what I was told several times was that they had that had not come back from the legal firm that does that. But um, and uh, how long has it been? It's been since uh, August. So oh, what I, I what I did was I got in touch with the artist and told them we're going to cancel, we're going to postpone until the spring because it's too cold now to paint those boxes, mm -hmm. both uh, for reasonable comfort, but also for the paint, curing mm -hmm. of the paint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're all okay with that. I'm just hoping that there isn't some deeper issue that we're not hearing about here. But I'll find out. I have to go into town tomorrow anyway, so I'll do that while I'm at it. Uh -huh. um, and it was Angela, Angela and I mentioned when we just fired up this evening, the interviews with prospective new commission members uh, is now scheduled for the 25th of this month. Um, it, the meeting, the interviews were supposed to happen a few days ago were canceled. Uh, I'm not quite how, sure why. How many? How many people are there interested? Well, I believe, well, I, do, I really don't know, but uh -huh. I think uh, I think we had two and maybe one withdrew. Okay. Is it too late to add anybody else? No, certainly or, not. Okay. Certainly not. So they should, they should, uh, you know, put in the application. I'm going to see somebody tomorrow. Okay. Who uh, her name is Charlene Choi, mm -hmm. and uh, she has uh, a lot of good experience and credentials, and I'd like to be able to interest her in doing it. Mm -hmm. She lives in Amherst and oh, cool. has been here for a while mm -hmm. now, and I, she's she's done a lot of things with the arts of different kinds. That's great. That's and, great. And yeah. So I'll see if I can talk her into. Yeah. And if I can, what does she have to do? Uh, there's an there's an online application on the town website. It's okay. a general link to apply for committee um, as a volunteer. And then when you start on that application, it asks you which committee you want. It's just a few quick questions. Maybe I can get her to do it with me. Yeah. 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 That that. that uh, that um, form will jump right up for um, okay. for for Angela. Yeah. Okay. It's done on a rolling basis, so there are no deadlines. Okay. 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 Um, speaking of deadlines, though, town hall gallery. Um, I've been remiss there. We need to. I need to get the November slash December um, exhibit up, and uh, I'll. Get back in touch with the artists tomorrow and see how soon we can get that scheduled. Yeah. We have, um, here, I'm going to switch screens now. This is the schedule. Amen. So yeah. Destin, last name of the artist for this, right. this period. And um, I've several times not heard back from Bree Barnes, uh, yeah, uh, January February. So what I'll what I will do now is get in touch with with um, with these artists and see whether they're interested in moving up in the schedule. Okay. And I have a couple of others to follow up on, a couple of other applications that have that are that are in have been in. Good. So I think we should be able to get back on track and we should be able to fill the schedule right. um, through the through till next fall mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay um, so in in september yeah. of next year i might not be um available or uh, shelby's getting married so oh okay yeah <laughs> i might be a little out of it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> September, just to give you a 
Okay, that's that's good. Thank you. Thank you for letting sure. me know. Yeah. Um, okay. By the way, the the reception that we had in is it back in September or October? I can't remember now. But um the the most recent reception with the um auto harp players included was wonderful. Oh good. And Thanks. uh and the, the artist was thrilled. She was literally dancing in oh, the gallery. Oh, wow. <laughs> she had this Did beautiful she sell flowing. Any? What's that? Did she sell any paintings? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, she was very happy with it. It all went very well. It was very easy. Angela was a tremendous help. In fact, <laughs> she stood, uh, she and I propped the front door to the town hall open and stood there. And we both called out to people passing by, hey, there's an exhibit in here today. There's a party. We've got food. We've got music. And people did come up. Did oh, come good. Up. Oh, good. And uh, we had we had the sandwich board out there with a poster on it, too. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. So that, that all worked out well and, and I think is good for the future. Uh, good to know that we can do that, that, that it works. Are we doing anything for um, uh, when Santa Claus comes or uh, for what's the first? No, Mary Maple anymore. Mary Maple. Well, they're not Mary Maple. Yeah, right, right. But but the kids sing on the front yeah. step. Yeah, it's a great part. Right. Yeah. So I wonder if we should I'll open. Talk with, I'll talk um, with Angela about that t t tomorrow. Yeah, maybe the person that's exhibiting um, mm -hmm. now. And through December, we mm -hmm. could um, have their opening a little bit later that day, that evening. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. That would be very good. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Okay. Um, lastly, here, just something a brain brainstorm I had. Uh, this <laughs> is for the obviously for that. Uh, the head house of the parking garage there. I was walking past it one day and I said, well, you know, the space where the exhibit windows is, is tiny. The windows are small and they've even put a bench in front of them now. So that's really, that's really pretty tough. But right. looking at, the, at those big windows on the, on the building there. Look who's and, here. And here's a, Let's see. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, okay. Good here. Good. Glad you're here. We now have an agenda. I was just going through some some announcements. And Terry, this where where we are now is um I was looking at the parking garage, the head Portal. house building. Portal. Yeah. The portals. Yep. Portals. And we we have there's there's a lot of window space there. So what came to mind for that is is what they call bus wrap. Uh, so you see this all the time and don't even think much about it. Mm -hmm. But this is a uh, this is a sheet of plastic of some kind that um, you know has a photograph on it. In this case, and um, it gets stuck to the inside of the glass, I think, in this situation, normally the inside, but it can be the outside too. And it has tiny little holes in it. And uh, some of them, there are different grades of this um, material. And some of it has 80% opaque, 20% light. Um, and there's another grade that has 60% opaque, 40% light. Now, on the on on this building, we'd have to be very careful because we don't want to make the interior too dark. It has to be. Oh, are you talking dark. about the windows? Yeah. yeah. We don't so own would... the windows, though. That's not our space for public art. We don't own the whole building. We just have rights to the gallery. The town, the town owns it. Right. We'd have oh, to we'll... go. This is just oh, a okay. We'd have to. We'd have to 
we'd have to get permissions from God knows how many different people to do this. But what if let's just follow what I'm what I'm trying to suggest okay. is that we could use the windows as art display frames. That would be lovely. And the oh, that would have a would, much bigger impact than those little people. Yeah, it would. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So the I, the idea is that artists would would do their work, and then it would have to be transferred onto a sheet um, clay, on, yeah. onto uh, and onto the stuff that can adhere to windows. I know that um, the um, photo text paper, which you can have printed as large as you want, and it's called photo mm -hmm. text. You can have paintings printed on it, anything, mm -hmm. and adheres to anything and peels yeah. right off. Cool. Yeah. Because like, I use it cool. for yeah. so um, all my exhibits that I do for my uh, work, my sister's work. And when mm -hmm. my work was in the gallery, I just peeled it right off. Yeah. Oh, so there's, there's a whole world yeah. of um, technology. Yeah. Right. Well, the other oh, thing yeah. is, is why'd they put a bench in um, front of their portal? Oh my God, I know, I know. I've already talked to them about it. I'm like, and I and I told I talked to Guilford and he said, Well, when when the installation is ready, we can move we'll move the benches. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And it'll also yeah. clean it the up. But movable. that was bigger... last year. <laughs> well, the bigger problem, the bigger problem is that those tiny little displays, that's that's what the problem is. Yeah, it is really. a problem. They're too small. Tiny. Yeah, they're too small. Um, anyhow, uh, for let me go through a couple, couple more. So he, here's an example. You can see we're, we're able to see right through it. So mm -hmm. it's not, it's nowhere near opaque. Apparently, this is a, a lit interior behind uh, a window that has this covering. You can see the little tiny holes on yeah. it. Interesting. Yeah. You know, Mikey, you suggested that archival photographs from the town right, might, be might be cool. something cool to use uh, somewhere no, in the you town. You could do a Hills Hat Factory. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is great. This is such I a love it. good thing. This, this, you know, this pixelization works well on the old, old mm -hmm. photographs like this. I yeah. mean, we're kind nice. of used to it. I think um, it's an awesome idea. I like, I like the idea, Tom. Thank you for being so creative and you know, yeah, we we could do it. That's great. Do the first one in house, all of us yeah. or one of us go to special collections and do research and get photographs of. Yeah, I think it would be wonderful I if the so town would go for it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so this appears to be an interior shot, and obviously it's backlit, but again, it gives you an idea of how you can transform. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, glass panes into something like that. So to to learn more about this, just uh, I'm sorry I didn't put the link in here, but just Google bus wrap, W R A P, mm -hmm. and uh, one of these. Let's see which slide was it? Oh, this. Uh, there's a company called Forty Visuals. The nice summary. Um, and this photograph was from their page. So these um, these these wrap these uh, sheets come in all different sizes. They can be semi permanent, or they could be uh, very easy to to just stick up and take back down. Uh, so uh, and and so there's a whole there's a whole world I had no idea about. Um, and as Mike, Mikey has a toe in this, you know, herself, I love as, she, it. as she mentioned. Yeah. Okay. I think it's cool. So if we go back to the agenda, um, quickly for Terry, Electrify Amherst is postponed until the spring because we couldn't get the artist's contracts reviewed. They're still not re finished in review. Okay. Um, the interview for prospective new commission members is moved to the 25th of this month. Okay. The current uh, town hall gallery exhibit, I'm delayed in getting that up. I'll try to get that up in the, with the artists in the next few days and okay. get back on schedule. I did send you 
in the attachments um, sent you a, 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 a schedule for the coming months okay. that we have there. So there are a couple more artists to line up, and I think we'll then have the schedule filled until the fall. Great. Okay. Um, all right, it's for the minutes. Okay, I'll, I'll, they're, they're very short, and I'll just read through them so we can review them on the fly. Everybody was present last time, all five of us. Um, okay, we approved both the July and August minutes then, and I've sent them in to, to uh, Angela. Um, bah, 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 bah. So I already mentioned we have interviews scheduled. Um, just a reminder that our budget, this is before from before you deposited, I think, Terry. I you, just deposited a couple of weeks last okay. week. So the, add 850 to that. Add 850. Yeah. That. So that, that puts us in good shape for covering the um the electrify Amherst and also a, allow us to start getting um reimbursements for costs for uh, the town hall gallery receptions. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. The so again back in September, we were still waiting on Electrify Amherst. Um, I, I had not been able to get a time schedule with Professor Mung from Amherst College. She was teaching the is teaching this term up public art course. She was interested in meeting with us, so I'm going to try that, try her again. Yeah. Um, okay, and then last item here. Um, we spent a lot of the meeting last time just catching Mikey and Lori up on the preliminary discussions we had had on guidelines and policies. And we didn't decide anything except that at this meeting, we would start with a discussion of uh, of uh, mission mission and vision statement. So that's why I just I just gave that all just a single a single sentence. Um, yeah, so here it is. So that's all there was. That's all. I've gotten the way of minutes for it. I move to accept the minutes. Okay, we have a second. I second. Yep. Okay. Um, can we vote on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We're done with that. Thank you. Great. Okay. Um let's let's then turn to the to the mission statement document. I'll put that up on the screen now. I sent sent you all a copy of this, you know, mm -hmm. just a half hour before yep. the meeting. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to look at it. I'm sorry. Okay. That's all right. We'll we'll go through it here. Um so um the meat grinder here is just temporary, just while <laughs> we're drafting it. I like the meat grinder. Okay. So what I what I've done is I've organized what we've been looking at before into a document with uh, ch chapters um, just to try to make it a little easier to deal with. My goodness, Tom, you've done a lot of work on this. Um, thank you. Thank you so uh, much. The, so the, 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 the chapter headings here are taken from the, uh, from the example document that Lori had given us. Mm -hmm. And I've I've maybe changed a word or two here and there for consistency. Is that the Leesburg one? Yeah, this is the Leesburg. Thank you. Okay. Um at Darius at Dara's Dara's, Dara's suggestion, I moved the definitions out of the way, push those to the end. Um now uh Terry has drafted wording for the for sort of the the, the the first 
section here. So I put that here and it very cleverly put it in green. So Terry has her own color there. <laughs> so um, so we have, we have, uh, here we go. So, so we have some draft to look at, at there. Then the next section is sort of defining. So we're here is what is public art really? This is about public art. The next one is about the public art commission. And then we go into goals for public art and then in, start moving into the weeds. What are the different forms of public art? In other words, what qualifies? How do we fund it? Uh, how do we select it? All the different ways it can happen, whether we call for it or somebody volunteers it. Uh, you know, what are the what are the um, procedures there? Uh, what are the criteria? Um, In this document, is this going to cover people who come to us and do, want to do yes. things like for want of a nail? That's yeah, yeah. Okay. It's yeah, good trying to have to policy cover, in place so that we can trying cover. to cover as yeah. much as possible. Just, so that's really good. Stuff up. Yeah, we really need to have process and right. For that. Yeah, yeah. Great. And then th this, this, the next one here: process of creating the the work of art. Um, we did. We haven't really talked about these last three or four here, but they're again from the Leesburg. Uh, that's more directed to the artist. You know what to do. Um. And then the, then the last part, it comes back to us and to the town. And how do we preserve and, and conserve and eventually dispose of um, public artworks? Now, um, if we go back up here to, to Terry's section on public art, and um, if we also look at uh, a little bit of public art commission. Let's see that after that. Yeah, which which I drafted. Both of those those have a lot of overlap, repetition in them. So I'm hoping if we can resolve things, then the editing will be easy enough to to make into one. But um, if we we dive into into Terry's. Um, draft here. This looks to me like the rudiment of a of a mission statement. And this this comes, this is existing. Um, this this comes from you know the published um, yeah. mission mission yep. statement. Now that doesn't mean we 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 have to keep it that way. In fact I think it's rather awkwardly worded to, uh, anyway. But um I did a little check on definitions this afternoon, make sure I was right. But uh, mission usually means um, uh, what are we trying to do? What's this about? And something, then it gets into sort of how do we do it? Vision, on the other hand, is what is aspirational. What are we hoping to see, as we say? Uh, what are we hoping to create? Uh, if we're successful, how will the world look a little different? Uh, how will we know we're successful? So that's you know a view of what we foresee. Now we don't have that. I don't see a vision statement really. Yeah, I don't think we worked on that. But yeah, but um, so for I'm proposing that uh, for our discussion of of mission statement that we at least start start by looking at this at this sentence here. It is an awkward sentence, that is for sure. Yeah. Where where so let's talk about it since we're talking about it. Yeah. Right. Yep. How is it awkward? Well, well, if you if you read it, it's just it's an it's an awkward sentence. So to foster greater community awareness of the interaction with public art and through public art, promote cultural diversity and an improved quality of life for Amherst citizens. Okay. It's just a little bit cumbersome. So if we take the okay. first phrase okay. there. A little wordy. Foster greater yeah, community. you're trying to say a lot in one sentence and that seems like it needs to be cut up a little bit. Yeah, so it's the interaction of what with public art? 
of the, that, I think the community's sort of interaction with public. I think it's, I think it's the community's interaction mm -hmm. with public art. Mm -hmm. It would be of their interaction with public art, but I still think it's a weird sentence. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be hard to change it. Yeah, yeah. it wouldn't. Yeah. To foster greater community, community awareness uh, of public art, period. And through public yeah. art, through promote cultural interest. diversity. Yeah, right. I mean, that would be real simple. It would just be two sentences, which is fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I read that, I, I mentioned this to Tom in an email earlier. I, mean, I read this whole thing when I was struggling to try to write something too, because I didn't, I guess I was supposed to write something. And I did write something, but it's a lot more probably vision than it is mission. I want to hear right. vision we that too. You know, what did you that. write? You know, yeah. um, well, it's it's rough draft, but I'll read it to you. It's short. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, public art exists around the planet in official and unofficial ways, in commercial and in civic circumstances. Its presence inspires, provokes, appeases, provides excellent opportunities for any one of us to have an opinion and possibly a conversation. So, see, I'm not trying to define anything. Yeah. I'm trying to not define it. Mm -hmm. You're right. saying like when, when you get it right, this is what public art does. Because yeah. it is visible, audible, dynamic, present, and available, public art fits well within a democracy based on equality. I think that's great. Public mm -hmm. art signals to us that art has its place in our lives, and perhaps in that place, we can imagine a better world and a better way to live in it. Oh, damn, Dara. Lovely. Yeah, that's really that's good. That's poetic. Yeah. Gee. Yeah, just, well, just I wasn't them. trying to be as, I think, but I like I told Tom, I read the thing that's there now online mm -hmm. for the APAC thing. And I think it covers a lot of really good things mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we can, can do. So what I did was more, I'll send you all a copy of it. Yeah, please do. Do yeah. that. Okay. Now, Dara, I, again, you're, you're talking with another former professor here. So, so take this with a grain of salt. <laughs> but I think, I think what, what you read is more um, an elaboration. Yeah. Of the, of the mission. Vision would be, we you know, something like you know we foresee in Amherst in the future that A B C. Okay. I would see as a as a vision. Okay. Seems like you're of, close to that, though, Dara. You could. I think you you're could close. You're, easily you're walking add right that. up to the line. You're yeah, you're so right close. Line. I'll send you all what I wrote, and yeah, uh, yeah. we can either use any of it or not. I think yeah. it's great to have the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's a very nice contribution to it. I also. like it. Yeah. Now, what um, what uh, Terry has here in the enumerated list again is comes from our original charter. I just broke it down into numbers mm -hmm. because it was just one big yep. old messy paragraph. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought yeah. it would be interesting to look at it piece by piece and decide if this is everything we want to put in it because it was yeah. just too much of a jumble of things into one paragraph. No, this is very helpful the way you've uh, pulled it pulled it uh, into a more comprehensible presentation. I would say we have kind of two tasks as we look at this, as we focus in on it. One is, um, is there anything here that we think should not be here, should be dropped? The second would be, is there anything missing? Uh, that should be that should be in the list. Well, number we two, we're not doing yet. That's for sure. Yeah, so something we're not doing. Mm -hmm. For example, um, th there's there's really nothing here about sort of making connections with artists, mm -hmm. right? Networking, yeah. networking, or um, you know, being. But in we touch do with do that. Art. We do it, right? We do it. Um, but see, see, I think the importance. Of, of having this list be right is that we then return to it when we say, all right, what are we going to do? So what right. are we going to do for number one? Well, for number one, that's what we're doing right here, right now. 
right. right. Um, um, this business of proposing an annual budget. Well, we haven't done that. It hasn't been done. We before. haven't. I, I think we've done it in the past. In the past. Yeah. But we, ha- we are not, certainly not doing that since COVID. Yeah. Well, and, and that's that is an aspiration. I'd like to get. OK, that. I, I talked to Amy Crowley and she said that the way they made money before um, COVID was by charging people to put their um, stuff in the gallery. That's yeah. how they made their money. Well, was, how much how much did that do you do you have any idea? They charge how fifty dollars per person. Yeah, All right. That's it's not um, a very b- big budget. Very, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but it was some because yeah, yeah. Um, they didn't have a budget. Right. What I'm suggesting, and I'm just saying it now for the first time, I think, is that I I think we ought to write a you know a budget request just as you do in any organization you've ever. I worked really with. do too. Yeah, yeah, we that would be so. That's a great that for years. Get it, get it, get it on the books. You know, right? Yeah, might be. I was noodling around. It might be twenty five hundred, three thousand, five thousand, something like that. It all has to be. You know, you have to justify what you you would spend it on. And I think starting with a small number like that is a really good idea. Yeah, they would like a three thousand dollar budget so that we can do A, B, and C, and this is what it would cost. You know. Yeah, there you go. So we got the gallery to cover. We've got, um, um, I I think, um, some publications. It would be good to to have some, you know, trifold brochures Mm -hmm. to put the places those go. I right. think it would be nice to have some money to, to hire some um, uh, artistic slash computer help if we want to draft um, something visual. And I'll give you an example. You know, I was thinking in terms of the the colleges, uh, not the colleges, the, the town's um, design study that's going on will be going on for another year uh you know what if if we were to come up with a proposal for uh let's say the the parking garage as we were just discussing or for the new town the re, the rehabilitated oh, north commons you want to have an artistic sketch of here's here's what it, here's what it might look like right mm-hmm. And so we might want to we might want to draw that on a napkin and then get pay somebody to make it a professional um, uh, image that that we could use. And so we need some money to do to do things of that kind. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so do that's, any you know, other that's... council or any other councils funded regularly by asking for? Funding? That's a question I don't know the answer to. I'd love to know that. So yeah. how how would I look into that? Um, the Let's easiest way probably is 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 for us to ask Angela. Okay. So, so I'll I'll take care of getting that. Because it might answer. be a a way to think about like how to get back to asking for an annual budget for this commission. Yeah. Yep. I see um I see three elements here to get that budget. One is to as you're suggesting to do a little homework on what are the practices and existing mm-hmm. uh facts. And another is as we were just discussing or just um brainstorming, you know, what would be the line items and what would be the total. But then the other piece is this this document we're working on to sort of remind people, all right, this is what we this is what this is all about. Yeah. You know, where's this coming from? Well, here we want the money to be able to do what we've got in these in these pages of um, yeah. you know, guidelines document. Yeah. Right. It's important to be doing both. Yeah. 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 Um, what is it? What do you think, Terry? What does it mean to say interacting with all town boards? How many boards and who are they? And what's the I think what we're talking about is collaborations with the other town boards. And I, I took that to mean just that we are we are aware of what each other are doing and 
collaborating on projects. That that's what I took that as being, but I'm really not sure. Yeah. And, it's, and and it really we aren't interacting, and that is something we're all kind of siloed. Yeah. And I think it would be good for us to mm-hmm. to intermingle with the other with the other boards to see what they're doing, you know, and see yeah. if there's a space for public art, you know, working in concert with like you know the the tree committee, you know, like you know what can we do mm-hmm. together. Because we can also use funding differently, right? Mm-hmm. We can maybe share mm-hmm. funding to do a project. So yeah, it's aspirational. Yeah. It's, it's, I'd yeah. love to be able to do that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. Now, an example from the past is when the uh, years ago, when the town was looking at signs, it asked it it drew the public art commission into the discussion. There, even though nobody considered those to be public art, but, but they um, are. It was a reasonable, well, it was a reasonable, uh, reasonable connection to make. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've got historical commission, we've got uh, DEI, we've got, um, you know, elderly. There any number of, of, of these, you know, could have a serendipitous mm-hmm. um, a connection. Another example, I think also I would expand that, nece- not necessarily in the, in the wording here, but uh, uh, I, Terry and I had email from the assistant director of public works uh, regarding the North Commons. And I did go and have a, a walk around meeting with him there. And his question was, what can we do here in the way of public art? And I said, glad you asked. Now, of course, we got no money for that, no plans, no process to do it. <laughs> but that was, but it was nice outreach. to ask. <laughs> that was an outreach from another. That's another aspirational. Department. And he was he was interested. He wanted to see it. He wanted it to happen. And mm-hmm. and our discussion then went off in all different directions. Because he had brought along with him the tree man, and he said, get the get a load of this. He said, Here's an idea. How about when the town has to cut down a tree on like, um, uh, you know, Common or, or Kendrick Park, we could leave part of the stump and somebody could figure out a way to make an artwork out of that. Chainsaw. Chainsaw or something, you know, and it would be easy enough for us to say, hey, um, you know, we've discussed this with our colleagues on the commission, and we're kind of interested. Um, how about if we give it a try next time you've got a tree that uh, might be a candidate for that? Let's let's see what somebody wants to step forward and do. Yeah. Anyhow, the point being, the point being that uh, their conversations, I think, just have not been happening, and there's no guarantee of what they would result in but uh i think we can easily imagine that there could be a spark somewhere in this and also there are cautions because uh both of them told me that they don't they don't they don't want to see anything in the north common that would make it harder to mow the grass <laughs> now that's an argument we could we could take yeah. out, but it's it's, it's helpful to know that that's <laughs> That's one of the things on their minds. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if we can think, so I was thinking, for example, that there are some, there are some nice uh, flower beds, small planter beds around. So you can imagine maybe a post coming up out of the middle of one of those and then having some artwork, either sculpture or uh, a flat work on it. It's not going to get in the way of lawn mowing. Um, it could be, uh, it could be properly designed and sized to work for that little garden plot. And n- extra bonus, there are there's electricity around and available for lighting uh, in those places. Cool. So. And in Arlington, who, they have this thing. Oh, things sorry. like the gardens, like that. What's that? All maintenance and grounds. Who who does the upkeep? Uh, the, the Department of Public Works. Because mm-hmm. I, I noticed that, um, that at, at the North Amherst Library, 
it looks like it's all volunteers doing the work out yeah. there. You know? I I would think that it's some uh, some facilities uh, it works that way, but where there's nobody else, I think the town does it. Uh huh. And the yeah. town, um, they were initially concerned about the salamander up at uh, that's embedded yeah. in the ground. Yeah. Uh, but they, but they decided, hey, wasn't a problem. We could just run right over it with the mower. So they're uh -huh. happy. They we're happy. Unfortunately, the neighbors decided they liked it too. So the temporary salamanders become permanent. Hmm. On the other hand, that little little scrap of a park where the metal cow is. Yeah. Um, that was a the public works got upset because the guy who did that project and said he would do the you know the stone laying himself well he did and the town decided it was a tripping hazard as he mm. didn't set it in uh -huh. uh flat i think it may have sunk since since then but uh People so you have to climb but when we thing. talk about liaison with other departments part of it is and i think this needs to go in our document later on in the details uh is that if you're if you're proposing a public artwork, you're going to need to get various permissions to do it. So if it goes on town land, the town council has to approve it. Mm -hmm. It's going to go on a library. I think by extension, if it's going to go on library property, that library has to approve it. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's if it's going to be something visible from the street, the design board will want to decide whether they're okay with it right mm -hmm. i can imagine you know if you put up bright flashing neon you know there in the corner of the commons they're going to say wait a minute wait a minute can't can't have that <laughs> you know traffic hazard etc yeah um and so i think there's a there's a there's a list of of checkoffs that have to happen and the the uh, artist contract, I think, is a good source to generate that that list from. Mm -hmm. um, so interacting with, I'd say, town boards and other departments, um, I I would I would like to keep that in there. Again, the question was not a challenge, but just mm -hmm. a clarification. Yeah. Yeah. Now go go back one on encouraging integration of art in public and private development. Right, public is the um, we have the percent for Amherst, percent for art. Um, whether there should be more, okay, is another question. Private development, I don't know if anybody if if I the commission's ever done anything. I, that feel, way. I feel like we, we should we take did, that out. What, what would it be? We're we are public art. We're not right. private art. You know what that's, I mean? I, I, no, no, but that's not. Time... That, that doesn't have to mean that. It would mean that we would adopt a proactive kind of yeah. interest in meeting with people who are doing private development as an art right. public art commission yes. to uh, talk mm -hmm. about integrating art into what they're doing. Yeah, I think that that is the okay. that yeah. is the intent here. I believe. And it's also what other um, what other towns and cities have. I don't know of any that have um, a percent imposed on private development. It's possible. It seems a little I... bit like stepping on the toes to uh, oh, yeah. of the design yeah. board. So that's why I'm not sure about it because I think that same work is done by by other town you know town meeting town council committees like the design board that's why I like yeah, i just sure don't know which, which part of that would be what we do as you know different from what they do i think uh, as dara said it would be to promote the idea that, hey you're putting up a condo complex while you're at it you want to think about um incorporating some public art okay uh, into it Oh, I see. Yeah. Just from a like lobbying for it, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, and I think okay. that one thing that I've never seen in my time on the commission is the commission taking the initiative mm -hmm. of at least using the language of their 
offices. You're called yeah. commissioners. It's called a commission. Mm -hmm. It's a town board. Yeah. You, you should be able to at least mm -hmm. hope that it has a purpose for, you know, talking to people about possibilities of incorporating art in the mm -hmm. work that they're doing. And I don't think it's, it, I don't think it would have to step on the toes of the, I mean, it could, if people mm -hmm. treated it like as though, oh, we're going to decide, but that's mm -hmm. not, first of all, we yeah. don't have any power. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Right. So it would have to all be a different kind of talking about stuff, yeah. you know, but the, it, since there's a, mighty mighty language of the public art commission sounds mm -hmm. really important mm -hmm. that was this is, this is our bully pulpit we should use it yeah, yeah. that's that's kind you, of what i think too you know i had i thought of, i was thinking also about um an idea for art in a private you know in a commercially owned space uh and that would be if you remember the first weeks of the semester, um, uh, uh, Bank of America had these big um, yeah. eight by eight posters yeah. on the wall. I saw them. So took those down after a couple of weeks. But what if, what if somebody put the B in their bonnet that they could sponsor? They they could sponsor that yeah. that space, you know, for exhibits. You know, maybe again, offer it to uh, high schools or to the colleges. You know, for an art display in the spring or something. Mm -hmm. Now, the you know, we my thought on I was thinking about that. I was saying, well, we'd have to be careful. We wouldn't want to be in the middle of that because we wouldn't want, for example, to be the jury choosing the works, and then the bank decides it. It doesn't like something, but if we just suggested to the bank, why don't you do it? You solicit, you choose, you put it up, and you know our our role there again would be just to kind of lobby that. And if the bank decides, hey, that would be a way to you know curry favor burnish reputation. Everybody hates the way the building looks. Oh, isn't that talk the to truth? Town, to talk to people in town hall who moan about it. Well, I think yeah. whenever somebody tries to take on two sides of a corner, mm -hmm. they that's are, yeah. That's a tough one. But um, I was laughed because everything else before that building burned down. Oh, wow. Yeah, there were various oh. hotels on that spot. Hammers Hotel. We have yeah. the sign at the Historical Society. Oh, maybe they put wow. the sign up there. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's in, the, it's in the Historical Society. No, I meant a, an, an image of the sign, not the oh, actual oh. sign. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we, we could get a copy of that made. Well, you yeah. know, they they might decide, you know, to to burnish our unfavorable reputation with the Amherst public, we will go across the street to the Historical Society and find some images to display artfully. Actually, or, the images would offer. be in special collections. All our images are now, uh, we sent over to special collections because they can house them in climate control. Mm -hmm. We're not climate controlled. In jo uh, at the Jones? At the Jones, yeah. All, yeah. all of our photographs we gave to the Jones. That's great yeah. for yeah. them to be able to preserve them. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're in the do, database that I work with. What? You could do a whole project that would be really cool, which would be like put images up all over town of what yeah. had been there before. Yeah, yeah. right. Cool that'd be amazing. You could project them. That'd be even cooler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could do it. an could, exhibit in, in the town hall. Project. Yeah. We that'd could do so an cool. exhibit in the town hall of that, too. Yeah, that would Good. be really cool. Be, if you yeah, one way to celebrate the two fiftieth too. Yeah, and and we're part of that, right? Yep, yes. we are. See, and that and, would and take the cooperation of everybody yeah. in the town. Yeah, and the gas station there on yeah street. That's where Emily Dickinson grew up. Yeah. I went to that gas station in uh, nineteen sixty nine. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was so amazed by it because it seemed like a throwback then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and right in the middle of the town, yeah. I was surprised they didn't come out and brush the floor of the car with a little broom. <laughs> so anyhow, for another time in the future, we'd want to talk about, well, to, to, to make some action out of the sentences here, the sentence in number three, yeah. what would that be? I, I think Jim, one little piece of that was something that uh, uh, that Jim had suggested, which is go just go and give a, give a presentation at the, at the Chamber of Commerce. Right. Yeah. We had like a little, tr you know, had a little spiel we could trot out. You know, a slide slideshow and 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 speaker to go out to different. Um, you know, uh, occasions, possibilities, and maybe again to produce some materials that other town departments could make available, because every developer has to come and deal with multiple town departments, mm -hmm. and so we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have to go to a meeting, to be the only way, for a developer to hear, hey. You might want to think about uh, doing some public art while you're at it, because, mm -hmm. but if we we'd have to provide that, have to provide that to the to the town uh, councils. You know, it was interesting. Just a little diversion here. Um, it was interesting in the meetings for that uh, town design project that. Uh, the the consultants made the point there too that the view was not to uh, impose strictly mm -hmm. uh, or strict design standards on developers, but to, again have a framework and a lobby for it. But then, interestingly, he he very deliberately made the point that. This, the town still has to approve everybody's design. And so they've got a wonderful opportunity to say, hey, why don't you do this? Now do this might be a wider sidewalk or narrowing the street or you know, changing some of the building materials that you use. Uh, but it could also it could also be uh, you know could also have to do with public public art. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's not a matter of we control it or we dictate it, but we can advocate for it. We can have a bigger that's plan. That's what I want to do. Is that have a bigger yeah. plan yeah. that that's this all good. fits into so it isn't all this one off, you know, bright idea that comes up in somebody's mind here, then or another time. Whenever there's a new development, I would all I want to do is just to be there to say to advocate for for public art. You know, just yeah. I don't need to tell you what to do. I don't know. I'm not that person. Yeah, I'm not a yeah. professional, but I think you should. Mm -hmm. If you're putting in a new building, you should consider how it fits into the landscape and and yeah. what you what you can contribute to you know public art to the conversation. Mm -hmm. And show them some really good public art. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we can we can have some examples uh, yeah. to show them. And uh, yeah. and that can that can come from Paul. It can come from uh, any number of people up and down the line in yeah. the in the town departments. But it's our job, and if we don't do it, nobody else will, to give them the materials and the the thoughts and and the and the and the words to do that, and then to offer, hey, if you want to invite us to a meeting with these with these guys with the developers. Let us know, and we'll come out. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, a lot of great, great work tonight, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. And Tom, thank you for all the work you've done on this. Okay, you're welcome. What I would like to ask is that everybody takes some time uh, reading, reading through this document. Make any changes in any way that you want and just send them back to me. Okay. And I'll take care of sort of gathering them. Uh, I'll do some editing to reduce redundancies, you know, straight out copy redundancies that we've got mm -hmm. here. 
and I'm also going to do some uh, some drafting farther down, farther down in the document uh, on some of some of the details, and I'll I'll work on the uh, um, on the definitions too. That not a big deal. I think good, I getting the definitions straight would be really helpful for everything else. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, kind I of working backwards. The thing, yes, the thing to that I would suggest keep in mind as your criterion for anything you're doing anywhere in this is what should we take the time and trouble to specify and to get right so that we don't regret having left it out in the future. Mm -hmm. And all we have to do is think of for want of a nail yeah. uh, and to say, okay, what do we learn from that? What do we, we want? We learned that we needed a system. That's what we learned. Yeah. 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 That's really and she, she, by the way, would like to reapply. Yep. And I've I said to her, well, we're working on guidelines. I'll let you know when they're done. Yeah. You what you're talking about the the one of a nail? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's one person's uh, ay, ay, ay. Well, I don't think she understands that it's got I don't know. Well, we didn't have a system and a process for how to handle such requests mm -hmm. and working on one now, we'll at least have something in place. Right. Right. You know, like, so, I think no, that's, regardless of that's what important. happens or doesn't happen with regard to her project, I right. think we can learn the lesson. Oh, yeah. And, I, if you, and I don't think that anybody who who passes by that intersection on a regular basis you know, that's where like one, two, three, four, five roads meet. Yeah. You, you, know, got, all, you got all your eyes on the road, believe oh me. Oh, my God. It, and it was like the tiny little space that would have taken up. I think up. the design board might have something to say about that, too. But... Well, I don't think it belongs there. And I, it's like, put it somewhere else. Yeah. Even though she dug up the materials from that spot. Yeah, but, but that's it, not allowed. That's not me. I know. I know. Yeah. I mean well, that see, that creates a whole nother um ball of wax because in the town, yeah. I mean, anytime they do a dig, yeah, they bring all those objects from a dig to the historical society, which is oh, where yeah. supposed to go. And for her to take them, you can't do that. I think the and person who did the digging offered art. them to her. I think it yeah, was. They, well, yeah, but they can't do that. People that. They, I don't that, think they knew that they couldn't do that. That's the thing. I think yeah. it was all done out of just not knowing. Yeah, yeah. I think Probably that's right. So. Yeah. Well, see, she, well, a couple of points out of this. One one is that if if there's, if if a step in these in these projects is run this past the design board, then we don't have to, we, the commission, we don't have to get into deciding that this is a good or bad thing from the from the standpoint that the design board exists to deal with. Exactly. It's, that's their job. That's their job. So we yeah. don't have to pick that fight. Um, yep. But on the other hand, this is the trickier part, and we can talk about this uh, late, you know, another time too, is that in her mind, she thinks that she's sold the project to a wide scope of people and has quote unquote buy in. Um, I, my own off the cuff thought about that is that, wow, we, we better be a little careful about how we, how we set an expectation that's workable for buy in. So we don't get somebody's hobby horse um, idea uh, that nobody else really knows or cares about. I have a, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how she presented it to other people. It's, it's the way, if she presented it to others, the way she presented it to us, it was, here's an idea that everybody likes. Don't you like it too? She did do that to the historical society and they all said, absolutely not. Yeah. So, so we oh, would, I didn't know that. So I would force it to So I envision that we would we would come up with some brilliant um, procedure for how an artist 
in this situation, unsolicited uh, project, how that person demonstrates um, appropriate, you know, appropriate buy-in. And that we don't have to sit there and say, um, uh, we don't think you have it. But it we still can point seems to be well. something the design board needs to handle. Yeah. It's not really design board or 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 whomever else, you know, um, historical commission or or others. Probably but, historical commission and design yeah. board on yeah. that on that regard. Yeah. 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 But okay. it was being Fine presented as public art. Yeah. Right. Well it was presented in is a lot of things as as a yeah. fait accompli. Yeah. Uh, something that had wide backing. And his, it's a historical you know, piece. Better. and Yeah. Anyhow, um, so take a look through the sections. The green is what Terry drafted. So uh, suggestions, wording, changes, whatever you want to do, do those and send them to me. The brown here is, is me digging into, uh, you know, what is the public art commission yeah. as opposed to public art. And and almost I I made up only only the last paragraph here because we never we there's there's no statement anywhere as to uh, why we run an art gallery mm -hmm. or even that we do um, but everything else above it all everything that proceeds I just uh, cut and pasted from existing. Again, as before, okay. that doesn't mean it's it's a done deal. Right. Like those changes, clarifications, additions, deletions, you know, that's what we're about. Okay. And then after that, um, goals. From, this was what we had um, talked about, uh, Dara, mm. months ago, as that you, that what you might write, but, okay. you know, send us what you have. Okay. Um, and so this this I think would be so it might be the place where we can work on the on kind of the vision aspect. Mm -hmm. so what do we hope to establish? So you know, would we like to see a master plan for art? You know that these kinds of things can go in these places. We'd like to see more of what you know stuff in, embedded in sidewalks, stuff mm -hmm. embedded in the sides of buildings. You know, et cetera, et cetera. Not saying exactly what they are, but you know, guidelines. So if somebody mm -hmm. says, you know, say, here here's some ideas I'd like to put into sidewalks, we can say, oh, that fits in the master plan. We've thought about right. it. We kind of mm -hmm. like it. We've gotten approvals already from um, or the guidelines from Department of Public Works of what's okay to put in the sidewalk and so the blue part is the leesburg stuff yeah but anything in blue is just is just cut and pasted from leesburg okay and then that can either stay be changed or be dropped forms of public art um nobody's stepping up to the question here is do we do we need this section uh what does it accomplish um again i'm not i'm not proposing flippantly that we just throw it out but uh, as you look at it, think what sh what should be in here. Okay. Uh, what's helpful? Uh, uh, just anecdotally, um, the Amherst uh, Cultural Commission, when Terry and I had that unsuccessful meeting with them, they sort of told us flat out that we were to stay out of uh, um, live events. That that was their purview. <laughs> All right, we can we we can either agree or fight it, but you know that that would be that would come under well, is that public art or what? Okay, yeah. then the rest of it is just um, uh, this stuff. I'll I'll work on just to try to get us moving on. Then there's nothing here except what was cut and pasted, and I think a lot of this will stand pretty much as it is. Okay. So I'll work on that for next time too. Okay. All right. Okay. Are we willing to entertain a move? To, uh, to I move to adjourn. I okay. second. Second. Thank you. Vote. Aye. 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 Aye.
Oh, there we go. It's a Thank seven. Thank you so much, guys. We're done. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you all. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you, Tom.